In this Figma tutorial, let's take a quick look at how to export SVG files. So SVG files are vector format files, usually used on the web. So you can select an object or you can select a frame and set an export setting to it. So we've got this G over here. Let's say we love this G. This is our logo. So we can click on this G and we can click on export down here and add an export option. Underneath the file type, we can select SVG. We have three dots here that we can change a few things, like ignore overlapping text, including the bounding box, including an ID attribute, or outlining the text. Outlining the text could be helpful because it may or may not include the font embedded in the SVG file, so if it's used online, it won't have to have that font, basically. So you can outline the text to get rid of any of the font attributes and just make it a vector graphic. You can preview what this will look like, and you can see down here, it's going to have transparency around the G, but also the SVG is only going to be the size of the G itself. And you can export G, it's just like that. If you're online, it's gonna go to your downloads. If you are on um, the desktop version, you can select where to save it, just by clicking on this drop down arrow, selecting wherever you wanna save it, select the name of the file, and then save it. So we can see that SVG down here in my downloads, we can click on it, and it's, of course, going to open up an Adobe Illustrator because that's my default, but that's okay. We can see that we have this vector graphic in here, the letter G. All right, so let's go back to Figma. That was unintentional there. Now, we can also set frame export options. So maybe we didn't want to export that object. We wanted to export a frame that includes that object. In this case, for this frame, we select it, and then we go to Export again. Same thing, we can set the SVG settings, export that frame, select where to save it, what it's named, and now we have that frame in here, which you can see just by looking down here, that the G versus the frame that includes the G gives it some padding versus just exporting the element itself. And that's how you can export SVG files here in Figma.